Hey guys, Chris here from the YouTube channel Sorosa. Today I wanted to share with you my bag for foraging mushrooms. I found this vintage REI bag at a, at a vintage store in Portland. And what's really nice about the vintage bags, or the older bags, especially the older REI stuff, is that it's really built very nice. It's, all these zippers are really high quality and it's really meant meant to last so the, the the trouble the reason that I wanted one of these bags and the trouble with just using a backpack when I'm out foraging for mushrooms is that there's just these few things that I want to have access to at all times and having to set down my backpack to grab my guide out of the backpack and having to set down the backpack to grab my map out or or these things that I'm constantly getting out um, it just kind of proved to be a, a fiasco and I decided what I wanted to get was like a hip hip pack or a fanny pack or waist pack something that was kind of kind of big but not too crazy and something that I could fit my map in and my compass and my mushroom identification book and stuff so I um, got really lucky I walked into this vintage store and I found this one and it was exactly what I was looking for so I was very fortunate to find this so I'll open this up and show you what I got in here First thing, the most important thing I like to carry is a map. And so this is a map of Powell Butte as my home park. And depending on where I'm going hiking, I have I have a pack here full of different maps in my local area. So I like to I like to always carry my map with me. And here I have my mushroom knife. This is from OPNL. It's an OPNL number eight knife. It's made in France. These are very, very nice knives. Um, it's got a really interesting locking mechanism where you turn it like this and it opens up like this, like a hawk build knife. And you use this to lock it like this. So when you're when you're grabbing a hold of a mushroom, you might be reaching like this and you grab behind like this. It's really a very nice knife and it works really well for what it's meant to do. And these um, bristles here are used to sweep any dirt off um, because sometimes that dirt will end up in the gills of the mushrooms. So the this is boar's hair that they used here and it locks open and also locks closed. They make two different versions of this. They make a, a birch wood version and then they also make this oak version and the oak version comes with, uh, with a little case here. And I like, to, I like to take the case and either use a carabiner to clip it on like I have here or I like to use the hole here and put it through the strap here so that it, it sits about like this. And and that, that's where it's most handy because I use that a lot. I also use my um, my guide quite a bit. I'm always reaching for this and I think it's a really good idea to keep a bookmark with you. That way if you have to set down your book you can open it back up to exactly where you are. So the Northwest and this is the 2019 version and I picked this up at Pals and it's laid out really really awesome the way that it's put together. It's really simple and it's been really helpful to learn different different mushrooms so that that book I like to carry that with me I like to keep a protein bar in my bag and maybe a couple more in my backpack when I'm collecting the mushrooms I like to use these little bags um, these are from like B green I believe and these these little bags are mesh bags and what they do is they allow the spores they allow the spores to fall out and, and uh, populate the forest and um, also it keeps any flies or anything from getting on there and, and I also carry uh, some extras of these in my backpack but, but at least carry at least one or two of these in my, in my hip pack here. I like to carry my hanky in case I have to blow my nose and I've got this waterproof pad. So far I've been able to get away with using the Pilot G210 pen. I don't have the special right in the rain pen, but um, this has been really great and I keep a I keep a little packing list here and it helps me to remember to bring everything with me. 
And then I have a little container here. Sometimes you can use the little container for holding mushrooms if you don't want to use that pouch. And a map compass. And here I have a little container for picking up cigarette butts or garbage. Um, there's a little pair of plastic gloves here. I've got some matches, a couple of extra plastic bags, and here I have a here I have another um, compass, and this is a um, like an engineer's compass or a sighting compass. And they they kind of serve two different purposes, but they they do work very well together. And I like the little little snapping containers, really nice. You can pick these up at the Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar. I also keep another knife in here. It's for prying things. Um, you know, pocket knives, it's not a good idea to use them as a pry bar, so this I don't really care about. I can use this to pry stuff. I keep a cigarette lighter in case I need to use that, and I, I like to keep a clear uh, tape measure that has both uh, millimeters and inches on it, and this is for taking notes, so when I'm checking out mushrooms, I can I can measure the size of the caps and and be like, you know, the smallest ones were two centimeters and the largest ones were four centimeters. And I can I can take field notes with this. So that's that's what I like to carry here. Um, there there are a couple other guides that I like to sometimes use. This one's called Magic Mushrooms of the Northwest, a guide to 12 hallucinogenic species of the Pacific Northwest. So if you're out looking for magic mushrooms, that's a good one. And of course, Paul Stamet's book. Um, this, is a, this is a field guide to psilocybe and psilocybin mushrooms of the world. So just depending on what time of year you're going and when you're going. Uh, I typically tend to, keep, uh, I tend to keep these two books in my backpack when it's mushroom season or going out mushroom hunting. So then, when I use my when I use my waste pack here, I just tuck everything back in, and I put the waste bag into my backpack, and I just pull it out when I'm out on the trail hiking. And uh, it's it's been really great to have um, have everything where I can reach it. Um, that's been a really big help, and I feel like that my mushroom foraging got a lot better having having all my tools accessible to me like that. Um, and I really, I would recommend that, or that I would recommend the Opinel mushroom knife. I think that's a really great tool too. And very fortunate to have this bag. I think it's a really neat, um, really neat bag. So uh, I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you want to like, share, and subscribe, that'd be really great. Help me get my channel going, that'd be awesome. So thanks again for watching, LVX. Friend of the devil is a friend of mine